of all the infamous women of the Wild West, perhaps there's none more interesting to the folks here in Prescott than Big Nose Kate, who is buried right here at the Pioneers Home Cemetery. Local historian Parker Anderson was kind enough to join me here because I have so many questions about Big Nose Kate. Of course, how she got her nickname is one of them, but let's start with how did she end up here in Prescott? Well, as uh, of course, as everybody knows, she is uh, known in history as having been Doc Holliday's lady friend, and that has made her a legendary figure and she came to Arizona with Doc. And a lot of her early life is uh, not well documented and is the subject of a lot of speculation and rumor. Um, but how she came to Arizona, she came, would have come with Doc. And then they, uh, all of them, they left from Prescott to go to Tombstone. And there's some evidence that she was around during the gunfight at the OK Corral? Well, she was certainly in town, to be sure. I don't, I don't think she was on the scene, but she was certainly in town. I'd read that at one point she was briefly in a nunnery and then became a prostitute, so that's quite a trajectory. It is quite a trajectory. How much of that is true, I'm not sure, because there are so many stories about her that are difficult to uh, corroborate. Supposedly, late and later in life, she wrote her memoirs but couldn't find a publisher. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, no one seems to know whatever happened to the manuscript. I would love to have read that, wouldn't you? Yes, I would have. <laughs> and then we'd have the answers to all these questions. Yep. Speaking of questions, so I thought she was called Big Nose Kate because of her profile, but there's some debate about how she got her name. There is, because in her pictures, her nose isn't particularly big, and some people believe it was attributed to her going around sticking her nose in other people's business. Again, we're dealing with lots of folklore here and nothing uh, corroborated uh, with uh, any degree of certainty. The Pioneer's Home still exists here in Prescott. It's a nursing home owned by the uh, state of Arizona for long-term uh, Arizona residents. You have to have been here at least 50 years to get in. Um, uh, Kate was not here that long, and purportedly she got into the Pioneer home when she became elderly and infirm because she appealed directly to the governor of Arizona, who was George Hunt at the time. Did they have a relationship? Would she write letters back and forth asking for things for residents of the home? Um, asking for residents of the home? I've never heard that she did that. I think she just went into the Pioneer home and was a, was a resident there like many, many others. Well, if you can take a look at her gravesite, you can see this is an older part of the cemetery, but she has many fans to this day. There are flowers, there are coins, there's currency, uh, looks like um, an American flag. Wild West aficionados have turned her grave into kind of a shrine here. And you see that her birth name was Mary Kay Cummings. Actually, or Mary Catherine Horany. She came from Budapest. Um, later, after Doc was gone, I believe she married a man named George Cummings at one point, hence the Cummings last name. And you can see from the plaque that she wasn't only known as Big Nose Kate, but also as Rowdy Kate. Yep. Those were wild days in Arizona, especially down in Tombstone. There was a lot of uh, activity going on. It's kind of nice to know that though she passed away in 1940, that she still remembered and still has a lot of fans out here in Arizona, people who love the old Wild West pioneer days. Absolutely, and anybody connected with the uh, Earps and Doc Holliday has become almost legendary. Some historians might debate whether that's justified or not, but that is the way it is. <laughs> well, you know what they say, legends live forever. Yep. And here lies Big Nose Kate.